Hello, I'm Colin Bradley. I'm going to show you how to produce cats using pastel pencils. But before you can use the pencils, you need to produce a line drawing. For this, you need a good photographic reference, like the white cat I've here. I want my drawing to be larger than the photograph. To help me with this, I'm placing over it a one inch grid. Now what we do is have a grid, paper grid, that is larger. In this case, I wanted one and a half times the size, so I'm using a one and a half inch paper grid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on the paper grid what I see through the photograph. Now, there is a difficult area of the eyes and nose, and we'll start with those. And to help me with this, I can place a second grid over the top of the first. You can see this now breaks this down into a smaller area, reference area. On the paper grid, we need to subdivide just those areas that cause the problem. Now I'll just subdivide that, use a rule, I've already made my marks, and we use mark that, and mark that. You have to be accurate with this, because if you're not, and you're out with the eye and the nose, it's not going to good, be a good representative picture. So now with our subdivision, we can start to draw. You can see, now we're in the square here. You can see all we need to do here is just put a little mark just there. We can pick it up just there. Uh, don't, don't be too, at the, at, the, at the moment, don't be too um, precise with it because we can come back on it. And that drops below there and you can see now we've got an eye in. Just a good idea, just to think, well, yeah, just look at it as a whole and if it works out then you can, you can draw it in. All we're doing, remember, is just giving ourselves a reference. The next square, which is here, is going to be the nose. And it's going to pick up from there, down to there, and from there to there. It doesn't matter what this looks like, because it's not going to be the, the eventual drawing. We're going to be transferring that to pastel paper, and I'll be showing you in a moment. The mouth coming through there, and through there. And then we'll just uh, put a little top to the nose. A little bit of detail over there, like that. Now this is rough, but it doesn't have to be accurate at the moment. It, well, it has to be accurate in size, but we don't have to worry about the detail. When you're happy with it, then we can start building the detail in, like that. I'm only going to actually draw down to here. I'm not going to draw the rest of it, because we're going to put eventually put a background in. I'm certainly going to ignore all the background at this stage. Now with that finished, we need to transfer the line drawing to the pastel paper. Fix it at the top with some masking tape, and we're using a black carbon rather than a blue. And then use your pencil to transfer the image on the line drawing through the carbon to the pastel paper. Right, we're going to start with the ear. And first thing we're going to do is to put plenty of white as a starting block. Always working in the direction of fur. No, no, okay. Now we need a little ivory inside the ear. I've changed this ear slightly from the original photograph, adjusted it on the line drawing because what I wanted to do was to show the inside of the ear. I felt that it would look better. Now a little pink on top of the ivory and bring that into and just down the side into the white fur. Touch of dark ochre. Again bring it just into the white. And now we're going to bring a little grey into the white because we, we've got to have a contrast between this and this. And we'll bring a little bit of grey in there. On top of the grey I'm going to use just a touch of ivory and put a little deepening of colour. And then we go back in with the white, this time a little bit more strength. 
Okay, now we have a little strength down here, and these are finishing touches. This is very simple. I've, I've kept the first picture I'm going to show you very, very simple, so you can appreciate the simplicity of the pastel pencils. It gets a little more complex when we get round to the eyes, but at this stage, you'll be able to follow this very easily. And now, just as a final run through the ear, just to make sure that that is nice and strong. There you go. Okay. And now we can build the fur up. Now, as you can imagine, a white cat has a lot of white on it. Okay, you need to be fairly strong. What we don't want to do, you see the, the paper showing through? Well, that's not allowed. That's got to be nice and strong. Just blow off the surface dust that we don't want. You see, you see we've got a nice contrast between that and that now. The edge of the ear. And we follow this all the way through. Always working in the fur direction. Okay, I'll put a little ivory in here because we want some sort of contour. And a little above the eye there. And we can add a little grey in a minute. Now, it's not until really the eye goes in that we, we can do too much more to that. I just want to add a little grey. What I'm doing is picking up on the on the photographic reference I'm looking at. See where the sh slight variations of shade are. And there's one subtle one just here. Don't worry at the fact that it's quite strong because once we put the white and the ivory back in again, it's going to fade back. So it's better to do it slightly strong because bear in mind we're on top of the white so we've got a cushion underneath it. Now, bring in the white in, the, the ivory in, just to soften that grey down. And then you can bring the white back in again. And there we want a contrast, so we a nice, nice strong dollop of white there. And you see the, the, the depth beginning to emerge there. Well, that's the pastel around the eye done. Now let's start the eye itself. Start by a little white in the eye to start with. And also just a touch on the bottom. We only need it on the bottom because we're gonna, that's going to be the lightest part. Next we'll bring in a little grey to establish the shape of the eye. A little bit in here, around here. You can always come back in here and put some more in. So at this stage all we're doing is just establishing the base colour. Okay, now ever so lightly little strength we put a little base color uh, avoiding at the moment the white in the eye a little base color in there like that okay not a lot it's very very just tickling it in but I'm going to put a little more strength with a little more strength in the pupil of the eye and then filter that through on top of the white and you see what it's doing we've established now the shape of the eye. I'm going to put just a touch, a little bit of yellow ochre in there, just a touch, mainly around the pupil. And then I'm going to use a little medium blue. Now we've got a blue-eyed pussy and we want him to be attractive. Now we put that in First of all, it's going to go in a lot stronger than that, but for the moment we want just a little in. And then we can do a pencil blend, which means putting one pencil in to blend another pencil. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more ochre in there, down like that. And I'm going to put just a little more white in there like that. Okay, so far so good. Now we need to really start establishing some strength. So I'm going to use 
a darker blue on the top. And filter that through the side. Now you wouldn't think so much colour would go into a little eye, would you? And I'm now going to bring in another colour. This is a one of my favourite colours. This is a sort of grey brown. Very, very dark and can be mistaken for black. In fact, on many pictures I use it instead of black. And it's a very, very good colour. You can see there, really. If I put black in there directly on that, that would have just been too harsh. Coming around the eye, shaping it really nicely, and a little bit through here too. And we need a little shading on the top of the eye, so I'm just using the same colour to build a little weight under the top. See how that's working. A good idea at this stage just to re-establish the eye white. That's going to go a little duller, but not just yet. And then a little bit, a little bit of ochre, and these little touches of colour that make all the difference. It's now beginning to require more contrast. So we move the eye coming in again. You see how that little touch, touch of the time. Use a bit of grey to dampen some of that blue. Once again, pencil blending, and you're nearly, nearly ready for the black. A little touch of white just to lighten it up. And that makes the black more dramatic when it goes in. So here we go. Careful not to put the black onto the white. See how the drama unfolds. <laughs> 